Hey, what's going on YouTube? Kenny here. So today I want to talk about GM and I'm going to ask the question, is GM an electric vehicle company? And if so, they're trading way below the electrical vehicle margin. So if you didn't know, there's bullshit companies like SOLO, Solo, look it up. Look up that company and tell me that, okay, some of y'all are invested in Solo, but come on, man. Guys, guys, okay, fine. Let's leave that one alone. KNDI, look up KNDI, look up Hindenburg research and be like, oh, Kenny, I don't believe Hindenburg. Nah, it's good research. You should read it. Uh, so anyways, there is an extreme uh, sentiment layer for EVs and there is definitely uh, money attached to the EV market in, in a multiple that is just uh, insane. Uh, so that said, if GM is a is an electrical vehicle company, or they think they are, then we'll have to see. But the problem is they have to change their kind of model. So if you didn't know, CES 2021 is going on, or it actually finished, but GM uh, came up with this new logo and it's talking about blue skies, which is super funny because Neo, like that's their actual motto is like blue skies ahead or something like that, right? So I don't know if this is like complete rip off and they're just like, hey, that's Chinese, nobody's gonna know or whatever, but I think it's kind of funny. But their, their logo is absolutely horrible, just so you all are tracking if you want my opinion on it, which you don't, but it doesn't matter. Um, point is, logo is terrible, but let's talk about EV and see what they have to say. Okay, so let's watch this video first, and every time they say electric vehicle, we're going to hit the cash register, okay? Let's do it. Our vision for the future is a world with zero crashes, zero emissions, and zero congestion. The key to unlock that vision is electrification, starting with the advances in technology that are helping accelerate our vision and the GM Altium platform. Altium is the world's first hyperscale electrical vehicle platform with the power to make almost any vehicle an electrical vehicle. This will be the best large format cells in the industry, optimized to provide sufficient power for multiple vehicle designs and we manufacture those cells in-house as part of a joint venture with LG Chem. The cells will produce 60% more energy capacity than our Close existing enough. electrical battery cells. Oh, here we go. I can't even and it use a flat rectangular pouch design that reduces the space between cells and can be stacked more efficiently into modules for higher energy density in a smaller space. We can use six, eight, 10, or double stack up to 24 modules in a single pack, depending on the power requirements of the vehicle. The end result of all these innovations is a battery that will produce up to 450 miles of range on a single charge. We will combine all these innovations with an incredibly flexible propulsion system called Altium Drive, which uses five interchangeable drive units to deliver front, rear, or all-wheel drive from a single yeah. system. We want to reimagine the whole concept of vehicle ownership and driving. And we're calling that reimagined experience Altify. Altify. I don't like it. They didn't say EV enough. I mean, they only said it like five or six times. That guy, could, he missed his opportunity to say it. So anyways, um, seriously though, uh, and they look like they're innovating. Um, the one thing that I'll say is like, this is definitely not Tesla, obviously for six million different reasons, but like, they're not, uh, you know, they're, they're still going to be a car company. Let's be honest. Like they, they actually talk about flying cars and robo taxis and everything like that. And they showcase a bunch of that stuff, but, uh, let's, I don't, I don't know what their innovative staff looks like or their tech, uh, leads look like. Um, so I can't say much about it. I'd have to dig into it. But at this point, I don't, you know, I, I don't know enough to, to give them credit for that. But anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at the charts real quick. Um, one thing that I want to talk about here. So this is Ford, GM and Tesla. And this is um, looking at basically uh, equity. So assets, total assets. And uh, I just I'm just looking at runway, like how far in a lead. See, so here, here was my problem with GM. Like, why didn't they start doing something like if they would have started doing something anytime here, look at this. Like, so green is Tesla, right? Uh, blue is uh, GM and then Ford is uh, purple. So let's just go ahead and get rid of uh, Ford right now just to make this uh, easier. So we'll get rid of Ford. And uh, let's just take a look. So now blue is GM and Tesla is uh, in purple. So if we take a look at this, this upsets me so much. Like if 
if you're GM and you know this is coming, right? Like, look at this. This whole time, you could have been doing EV stuff. Instead, look at this. Look at this, right? And then look at this. This is this is why it's unbelievable. Guys, GM should have been doing something. But what is interesting is this, right? Um, and then in terms of like, actual cars produced and revenue and stuff. Yeah, I mean, GM's obviously crushing Tesla, but it's not getting traded at that price. So um, what do the tip ranks analysts have to say? Well, they got strong buy at 5350. Uh, the one thing I'll say, and the one thing, the biggest reason that I'm looking at this, if you didn't know, uh, a lot of the research firms for the hedge funds, a lot of the macro advisors are looking at a very uh violent cyclical move into to companies like GM and Ford for instance uh, and I even though I have friends who work at Ford at, at very senior executive levels <laughs> I refuse to buy into Ford not because I don't love them and they're not great people they don't do really good work but uh, GM is trying to and I know it's just shilling and then this is shilling their product but at least they're trying and they are trying to get a new logo and all that stuff whatever I mean I'll make fun of them but at least they're trying and here you can see that GM is uh, going to invest 800 million into uh, create Canada's first large-scale EV manufacturing plant. So money where their mouth is. Um, but I mean, yeah, in terms of like the, the stock price, if you look at the stock analysis, it is absolutely on fire when tip, according to tip ranks, except there is some insider selling. So some probably money was stuck. Um, we can explore it a little bit just to see if it's uninformative sells. So folks that don't have financial... Literacy. Okay. Um, anyways, let's just go ahead and go to the stock price. So if you look at the chart, they finally cleared the COVID uh, kind of mean line and they're actually on fire right now. So I'm definitely not buying on this spike. That'd be ridiculous. Let's go to the hourly and see what we're doing. Um, yeah. I mean, I want to see it at least, I think the first buy for me, if I was going to buy, I don't even know if I'm going to buy yet, guys. And obviously, I'm not financial advisor. It's not recommendation to buy. Um, I don't think the 46 is a real good spot, actually. I think the best spot would be a bounce off the 100 or 46 and a half is what I'm looking at here. But as you can see, though, I mean, there's definitely money cycling in. It's just so much cheaper of an EV play and a way more stable EV play. Um, like... Folks, I mean, I'm, gosh, I'm like short KNDI. I'm not buying that crap, you know. Nikola, get out of here. But GM, yeah, I mean, great American company has been around for a while. Sells cars that I don't generally like. I don't know, man, I had a, man, when I was a kid, oh my God, I had a Chevy Lumina. Oh, worst car ever. Anyways, so, I mean, I don't really like GM, but, but if they're going to make a move into this, and they do have a brand new kind of uh, executive team that came in, I think, about four or five years ago. I can't remember. Um, somebody, if you know, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, it's a turnaround play for sure. And I think they definitely probably have the lead. Ford sells a lot of trucks. That's all I know. But uh, GM looks like they're trying to do EV. So I'm going to give them a little credit here and uh, just kind of put them on watch. Uh, if I can get in at 46 and a half, I'll probably take a position. And then I'll just, I'm, I'm not taking a full position. And then I'll take another half or another tranche, which would make a half of a position at like the 100 day moving average or maybe 40 even. Hopefully I can get in at 40 even. If this runs away on me, then too bad, but uh, that's how I'm looking to play this. So, anyways, just a couple thoughts. I didn't do a deep dive. I didn't do financial or I didn't do a fundamental analysis, and I definitely didn't put a Red Cliff score to this. But uh, I probably will on the backside. If you guys want to see it, then uh, let me know, and I'll put it up because I'm gonna go do it right now, so I can take a look and see if I do want to actually enter this position. But it's just something I'd bring up just because. Um, well, hell, let's be honest. I'm just trying to do a lot of videos because it's the weekend and. I don't know, I'm trying to get views or something. <laughs> All right. All right. If you like this video, you know, do tell, tell YouTube that it's awesome or something. And I appreciate you. I really do. And it's unbelievable that I even have like five subscribers, but apparently, you know, 
man, thanks for the support. That's what I'm trying to say. You all supporting me. I get so motivated when you all put good or even bad comments, even the bad comments. I'm like, man, you took your time to hate me that much. Oh, man. Beautiful. Chef's kiss. Thanks for watching, guys. And I really appreciate you. I really do. Take care.